Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my two websites jesusheelsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Today we are going to read about marriage and the love of Jesus in us all. Let us turn to the book of 1 Corinthians in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4. Jesus suffers long, Jesus is kind, Jesus envies not, Jesus wanted not, Jesus served, Jesus is not puffed up. Verse 5. Jesus does not behave himself unseemly, Jesus seeks not his own, Jesus is not easily provoked, Jesus thinks no evil. Verse 6. Jesus hates iniquity, Jesus does not rejoice in iniquity, but Jesus rejoices in the truth and in righteousness. Verse 7, Jesus bears all things, Jesus believes all things, Jesus hopes all things, Jesus endures all things. Verse 8, Jesus never fails. Also let's turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25, Husbands love your wives even as Christ Jesus of Nazareth also loves the church, we are Jesus' church. Everybody here on this planet earth and in heaven above and those who are in hell below. And you gave yourself for us all, Jesus. Verse 26. That you, Jesus, might sanctify and cleanse us with the washing of water by the word. The word means Jesus is the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Jesus created all things. Jesus is the word of God. Verse 27, that Jesus might present us all to yourself, Jesus, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that we should be holy and without blemish. Verse 29, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the church. 30, for we are members of your body, Jesus, of your flesh, flesh Jesus, and of your bones, Jesus. Verse 31, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Verse 32, This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ Jesus of Nazareth and the church. We are Jesus' church. Everybody here on this planet earth, everyone in heaven above, and everyone who was in hell below. Also, let's turn to the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 8. But unto the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jehovah says, Thy throne, O God, Jesus, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Verse 9. Thou, Jesus, has loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Jesus loves doing good, whatever. Jesus would hear and see Jesus' Father, Jehovah do, He would do. And we also have that power because we have the mind of Jesus Christ and we also pray in tongues in the Holy Spirit so we know the will of Jehovah in Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Spirit in us all. Verse 9, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity, Therefore God Jehovah, even thy God Jehovah, has anointed thee, Jesus, with the oil of gladness. The oil of gladness is the Holy Spirit in us all, upon us all, around us all, everywhere here on this planet earth. The Holy Spirit lives in us all. With the oil of gladness, the Holy Spirit above thy fellows, Jesus. Also, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in law in all people, and the dead undefiled, the dead kept pure. But homongers and adulterers, our Lord God Jehovah will judge. Thank you everybody for listening to me today. Please visit my friend's website, my friend and gospel, my friend and partner in the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesse Duplantis, the evangelist www.jdm.org and also Christians United for Israel 
www.cufi.org. Also, please visit my two websites, jesushealsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Jesus loves us all, Jesus heals us all, Jesus provides for us all, always, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen.